So you've heard about the benefits of brain stimulation and you're ready to give it a try, but you're just not sure if you're set up properly. Hi, my name's Chris, and today I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to use the Neuromist Pro wearable 2-in-1 TDCS and TACS brain stimulator. After watching this short video, you'll see that it's actually pretty simple. So let's dive right in and show you how to set up your first brain stimulation session with the Neuromist Pro. Your Neuromist Pro kit has everything you need. The electronic stimulator, electrodes and sponges to make a sponge electrode, wires, a USB-C charger and a headband. Neuromist Pro is compatible with both large and small electrodes. But for this demo, we'll use the small electrodes so it's easier to see what's going on. First, let's make a saline solution. All you'll need is half a litre of water and three quarters of a teaspoon of fine grain salt. Soak the sponges in the cooled saline and very gently squeeze. Don't squeeze out too much saline or the sponge will be full of air and not pass current. Now, Connect the electrodes and insert the sponges on top. Neuromist offers two options for brain simulation. TDCS mode uses a constant current to modulate brain activity up or down. And TACS mode uses oscillating current to promote brain rhythms. We'll start with TDCS. Let's run TDCS with the device's meter on to show the quality of electrode connection during the session. To turn the meter on, go to the options from the home menu, select meter on and start any session. Once the session starts, you'll see a colored square on the top left of the screen. Green means good to go. Yellow means okay and white means a poor connection. Here are two easy training steps. Step one is to check the electrodes by themselves. Hold the electrodes together, sponge to sponge, and start a TDCS session. We want the meter to be green because the electrodes are directly touching each other. If it's showing either yellow or white, then go ahead and add saline, and then try again. Once you check your sponge electrodes, you're ready to move on to the next step. Step two try a simple training montage. With no hair in the way, to get a feel for your first stimulation session, montage is just another term for electrode placement. Place each electrode about two inches or three fingers width above the middle of each eye. The left location is FP1 and the right location is FP2. You don't have to be incredibly accurate with placing the electrodes here because this montage is only for training purposes. Go to the TDCS manual and start a session using the default setting, 1MA for 20 minutes. If you see white, pause the session and check two things. First, make sure the sponges drip when lightly squeezed to make sure it's full of saline. If the sponge doesn't drip, it has too much air. Then, make sure the electrodes are pressed firmly against your scalp. If the headband is not tight enough, there may be some air between the sponge and head. Push the electrodes against your forehead and tighten the headband with a clip if needed. When you're ready, resume the session and check your connectivity again. Remember, you want to see either a green or yellow square, but never white. It's also easy to check TACS. Once TDCS works, stop your session and immediately switch to TACS. Don't move the electrodes because you just confirmed everything is good. Once you check TACS, leave the session running to go over a few last user options. During any session, you can adjust the current intensity after the ramp up Slowly increase the intensity from 1 MA to 1.3 MA. Wait, then to 1.6 MA. Wait, then to 2 MA, if you feel comfortable. 
you can also pause or stop your session at any time. But before halting any session, remember to always lower the intensity to 1MA or below for your comfort. Now that you know how simple it is to use your Neuromist, you may want to learn more about the science behind TDCS and TACS and the features of the device. Check out the links in the comments below. Thanks for listening.